Oh, hang on. I've left something on. Oh dear, that was terrible. There we go. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, hello, 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 hello. And welcome to the first, the first ever, oh, episode in inciting installment of the little massive. Yeah, you can see me little, me little, uh, me little what's it down there. Down in the down in the corner of the screen there, and it moves. That's the money. That's the money right there. The the moving logo. Hello, 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 M curtains. Hello, spooky. Welcome to uh, yeah. Welcome to the little massive. Yeah. Out with the old. Yeah. A, li a little dangerous benign. <laughs> Don't like that anymore. No, no. With its with its airs and its graces. Sorry. Excuse me a moment. Can we kill the TV? Yeah. Ah. Oh, sorry about that. Where were we? Yes. Hello, 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 and welcome. And curtains, spooky, and Tido. Oh, and curtains was listening to that. I'm sorry, darling. I thought you weren't on for another ten minutes. Oh God, it's. I've done that again. Jack. Uh, this is a special early start, because of reasons. Oh. Um, Let's not, let's not dwell. I was too excited. I was too excited to get started. Oh, well, uh, hang on then. I've got to think now. I've told everyone. I've told everyone. I've told everyone we'd be live at 8. And here we are live at 9.52. Uh, what to do? What to do? Sometimes excitement makes one go off early. It does, doesn't it, M Curtains? It does. Well, um... Keep it PG. Yes, quite right, quite right. Did you happen to uh, did you happen to check out the new the new the new clock, the new clock we've got? It's a uh, it's a pretty clock. Well, the, the video's old, but we've got music now, and it's all in the public domain. Yes, on uh, non-attributable uh, agreements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that IP. Ha! Oh, oh, I've been I've been going ha hammer and tongs. At this for quite a while. Oh, I've come off early. It's terrible. All right. Well, we've started, so we might as well carry on, mightn't we? Yeah. It is uh, Tuesday, which ordinarily would be Little Massive Police Department night, but tonight, because uh, we were out Sunday at the goodies, um, we're uh, we're doing something else uh, tonight. We do we couldn't do Distant Worlds two on Sunday, so. Uh, what we're doing is we're doing Distant Worlds tonight. Uh, we've bumped Little Massive Police Department to Thursday, and uh, between you, me, and the uh, and the and the goalposts, uh, I'd uh, I'd recommend uh, turning up on time for LMPD on Thursday. Just uh, just words to the wise that uh, I've I've we're top loading the stream with some quality items. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Ah. Oh. But yes, right, so we've got to uh, get into the game screen now, haven't we? Uh, oh, but first, music. Taylor Chip's going to be here. That's uh, good to hear, good to hear. Yes, this has been a bit of a struggle uh, getting this all sorted. But I think we're there, I think we're there. I'm going to stop going on about it soon. It'll be normal soon. And then where will we be? Yeah. Right, the game screen. Oh. What was that? Blimey. Whew. Right. Here we are. This is what we're going to be looking at for the foreseeable future. Uh, is it not, it's not too red and blue, is it? It's not too garish. I was worried it was too garish. We had sort of subdued subdued yellow tones earlier. And now we've gone all sort of red, white and blue. You know. We're backing Britain. We are not backing Brexit. We're not doing that. But we're, uh, we're uh, backing Britain. Yeah, we could say that, can't we? We're backing uh, also France and um, um, uh, all the other countries that have red, white, and blue. Greece, does that have a red, white, and blue one? It should do. Feels like it should. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that silliness. Right. We are going somewhere. Where are we going? Oh, yes, I've got a map. Hang on. Uh, where did I leave you? Ah, I'll do it. I'll do the old-fashioned way. That's what happens when you do things at the last minute. Let's see. LM window cut. There we go. 
no, no good one at all. Never mind. Oh, oh. dealing trouble, dealing trouble. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Yeah. Except that's not the scene I'm on. Oh dear, it's having a, it's having a bit of a moment. Hang on. Back to the game screen. Back to the game screen. Oh no, I see what it is. There we go. It's that. There we go. Oh, right. Oh, we don't actually want you on that scene at all, do we? So let's. Oh no, let's let's put you down there. Oh, admin. So yes, Distant Worlds 2, isn't it? Oh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So go for it all to go wrong. We're at, not at eight o'clock yet. So this is just a test. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. Fabioso, right. Uh, so, yeah, we're off. We're off, aren't we? We're off to Goliath's Rest, ultimately. Not sure what sort of a distance that is yet, though. Uh, so, let's see. Goliath's Rest is somewhere. Oh. It's at Swirls. IL Y E zero. Jolly G. So let's get that up into the. There we go. Let's get back to the game screen. There we go. Oh, oh yes, and I've automatically cut off uh, the music because that's how that works. I've had words with uh, the pretzel people there we go I've had words with the pretzel people and uh, yeah they're sorting that out hopefully or oh, I'd bore you with details so I'm not going to um, but it's on a toggle it shouldn't be on a shouldn't be on a toggle oh, hello I am a dunker marvelous with the Ed's 38 squadron thank you millstone barn how can I ever repay you what could I possibly do to repay you um, uh, oh yes, I know. There we go. He's out there somewhere, uh, sorting sorting out me rank. Okey do. Right. So to the map. Oh, I can't believe I started early. The maroon. Oh. Streaming professional. Hello. Oh, hang on. I've got me uh, doohickey on, haven't I? Oh, there we go. Ah, there you are. Oh, it's a long one. This is a worry. Of course, it could just be a difficult route. Doesn't mean it's a long route. 7.4 Kylie's is quite a way, isn't it? Just. Let's see. The... We'll have to. We'll have to pull out the stops. Yeah. Almost. Glad, almost glad in a way that we uh, started early. Could I have my camera lowered down a little bit, please? Thank you. Too kind. Oh, there's something else that's new as well, but uh, it's harder to spot. And that's uh, I've got some pedals uh, down here where my feet are. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all new. That's all new. Good lord. 50%. This is a very, very tough, very tough route. Ah! Oh, made it. Right. What are we looking at? Dare I, dare I? Oh, 54. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, let's get on with it, haven't we? Got fuel. Got the ship. Yeah. Now, I've, um... Yes, we've got uh, we've got music on the clock now. It's all uh, guitar based. It's sort of sort of going for. Uh, 
What was I going for? Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, the sort of uh, programs for schools kind of flavour, you know. It all has that, that delightful sort of piano, uh, not piano, what's the other one? What's the other string instrument? Guitar. Have that lovely guitar music uh, going on. Boost. Have a bit of boost. Oh, blimey. Okay. Might have to, uh... Might have to second-guess the... Not second-guess the, uh... Nuke Cuba, welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, uh, we might have to drop back to 720 at some point. It's 1080. I don't think it's quite stable enough for us, sadly. Not on, not on Virgin Radio. Anyway, but, uh, there we are. Oh, I can, I can do this now, can I? Oh, I'll calm down in a moment. How are you, New Cuba? We started a little early, I'm afraid. So, uh, well, here's what you missed. Here's what you missed, basically. Um, uh, we'll be very, we'll be, we'll be quick with it. Hang on, turn that off just to be sure. Yep, yeah, we had a countdown. That was good. It's got music. Didn't used to have music, now it's got music. And then, uh, pre. Yeah, pre great, pre game, pre game thing. There, yeah, yeah. And, uh,. And then the and then the game screen. That was basically it. That's all you've missed. That's all you've missed so far. And some root plotting. That took forever. Oh. But uh No, we're off now. We're away. New Cuba getting frustrated. Bad luck finding materials, bad luck shooting ships. Now I'm doing space leg things. Space leg things. In uh, No Man's Sky, would that be? I'm guessing it's No Man's Sky. I think the new design all looks very clean and nice. Thank you, MC. Thank you. Uh, yes, I... I M. Curtains uh, helped me a little bit uh, with some design choices vis-a-vis -vis the font. And, uh, but I've, I've kept most of it uh, in the dark. New Cuba, I'm building a garage in Space Engineers. Splendid. Space Engineers is one of those games that um, games that I own, and and little else besides. I've not really spent much time in it, sadly. And I, I'd have thought maybe I'd have squeezed some uh, time in for gaming uh, in me week off, but so far it's been a bit thin on the ground. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. We have the, um, ooh, they recently updated the survival mode, so I'm giving that a go. Oh, marvellous. I do, I do prefer, I must admit, games that have a creative bent. I do, I do like, um, I do like creating in sort of survivally scenarios, you know. Never, I've never played Minecraft, for instance. Uh, never played Minecraft, uh, in creative mode. Because I just I just find it a bit sort of a bit dull. I'd much rather build a building and you know fend off creeper attacks and zombies and uh, what have they got now? They've got something new now, haven't they? Um, what's that thing? It's, oh, illagers! That's it, illagers. Yeah, they're fun. Cooper writes, ships in survival mode tend to grow with the requirements. Oh yes, no, absolutely, yeah. I can see how that would work. If you don't need carrots, you don't build a greenhouse, do you? Yeah. Ooh. 
Now, something else I'm not doing. And that is... Oh. Nope, didn't want to do that. Why have I done that? That, that's what I want to do. Maybe at the next one, maybe at the next one. Just gonna try and build a crate. It's a good idea. Oh, did you? Did anybody happen to uh, have a go at me? Uh, word searches I put out on the Twitter. Um, thinking of doing a massive, uh, a massive one for the uh, Sagai, whatever it's called. It's an odd sort of thing. Uh, what it was was. Uh, it's a word search, but before the words have been put into the grid, uh, the letters have been jumbled up. Ha <laughs> ha! Extra little twist, you see? Extra little twist on the uh, on the traditional. Uh, have I done that? I think I've done that. I don't know. We'll do it again, just to be sure. And uh, yeah, and it's sort of uh, it happened. As in, uh, I'm not suggesting it's original with me, of course, but uh, I had the idea because I misinterpreted um, there's a solution. There's a, there's a Twitter account that puts up um, pages from, I think, NME and... Uh, uh, what's the other one? Smash Hits. Yeah. And they put up a... Uh, they put up a, a word... A, they just put up like, pages from old issues, you see. It's quite interesting. Archival sort of thing. And... Uh, they happened to put up a picture of a word search that had run in the mag, but the word search had been completed. And I sort of... In my myopic state, I took a glance at it and... Uh, couldn't quite make out a diagonal and, and assumed that... Uh, Assume that they were anagrams, or rather jumbles. And I realised almost straight away that no, no, it wasn't. I could actually make the words out. And I thought, what ho! Fantastic idea! Yeah. So I, um, I knocked one up, put it up on the Twitters. It was only a one error. <clears throat> Two, if you include uh, just as criticism that I hadn't included the cobra. I'm quite sure that is a valid um, classification of an error. Did you actually invent anagram word searches? I'm not sure. I don't I don't I wouldn't like to say so because it seems like it seems like it should be should exist already, doesn't it? But um, it's quite a tricky thing to Google because you just end up with a load of uh, puzzle pages. I certainly found something that appear to be an anagram word search on a forum. So I wouldn't, certainly wouldn't like to say that it was a form that I came up with. No more than the Japanese would say they invented Sudoku, which is of course uh, an American uh, an American idea. Uh. Or should I say the idea of an American? Let's be, let's be a little more precise in our language there. Yes. Oh. Drive charging. Those are live buttons. Splendid. Oh no! Don't worry. As well, by the way, we do we do still have uh, we do still have the scratch and sniff uh, roundels. If you've got your card, do join in with the fun and have a. Have a virtual uh, Capri Sun to be going on with. Yeah. This is a long one. There we go. I think the reason I go early, the reason why I've, because I've done that twice now in recent times. Dyktopia, welcome to the stream. Uh, 
Bonjour. Etc. Ah, bonjour, hola, hello, hello. Presidente, salom, hakaxo, stravo, buongiorno, jesk, haya, uh, chat, and oh no, chat and chat little, that's us, isn't it? How are you, Ditopia? Welcome to the stream. We're, uh, oops, oh, we're forgetting how to, how to do jumps. That's what we're doing. I think what I might have done today, today, I might have taken on too much all at once. I do that sometimes. Yes, no, the problem is, you see. The problem is, or previously anyway. Oh, I think, I think the, uh, I think the rebrands uh, rolled out okay. We were a little early starting. We were by about, um, was it 10 minutes? I think it was 10 minutes. It's because I started. I started going live um, in the streams at uh, 54 minutes and 30 seconds on uh, 7, yeah, 7.54.30 and occasionally that's got muddled in my head as being 7.45, especially if I'm nervous and I was a little bit, I was a little bit antsy, a little bit antsy tonight because of the, because of the rebrand, you know, I've done this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna honk H system twice. You better get used to that. Uh, how are you? No, you're, I've asked that. Yes. Oh. Oh. I've been, I've been slaving over uh, Sony, Sony Vegas for much of today as well, which possibly, possibly might have been to my detriment. So, can we hear anything about the goodies? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, it was slightly sad. Uh, I, I should explain to those not on in the loop who are watching this in the future. Uh, the goodies, which are a uh, popular uh, comedy trio in the 1970s. Uh, they've not performed together as the goodies for a very long time. And uh, on Sunday, they uh, they recorded a radio episode, yeah, a radio episode of the Goodies, which uh, I was lucky enough to get tickets for. So that's what we did on our birthday. Sadly, Graham Garden stunned his back in, so he couldn't uh, he couldn't actually make it. So we had uh, we had a stunt Graham doing all the all the talking. That was fab fabulous. I don't want to don't want to talk about the plots too much, but uh, that was a it was always slightly unnerving uh, when they announce these sorts of projects of how uh, you know whether the script's going to be any good. But uh, that was very strong, very strong script indeed. Yes, Ditopia. I've completed Vimes, so it's totally ready for Thursday. So I'm working till 8 p.m. So I'll be a little late, which is a pain. Oh, you're gonna miss the thing. You're gonna miss the thing at the start, Ditopia, which is sad. But uh, yeah, it's well worth fodding, the thing at the start. And I don't want to. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Them curtains might have seen a little bit of it though. What ho, pale gringo! Welcome to the stream. Oh seven, sir. Oh seven, have a blooming Capri Sun on me, won't you? Not literally on me. Obviously, that would be sticky and awkward. I've got, uh, I've got another hour and forty-five minutes of stream to do. I don't want to do that, dripping with juice. Do I? No. I meant in the, you know, on my account. <laughs> that sort of, that sort of meaning. I was quite surprised you're not familiar with it, pal. To be honest. Oh. How are you, PG? So is the goodies going to be on the radio at some point? Um, 
I'm not sure. I think it's um I think it's been produced by Audible. Uh so I suppose it's whether or not they're gonna distribute to to the wireless. Certainly certainly available in some form or other. I'd expect it to be on the radio, you know. I feel it belongs belongs there on the wireless. Oh, hello. Curious. I've got a little uh got a warning there, I'm not sure for what. Not overheating. Not had any uh, neutrons yet. Not that I'm complaining. The fewer the better, really. If we, can, if, we, if we can, if we can get by without, that's ideal, really. Because they do, they do, uh, they do knock one's uh, friendship drive out of whack a little. So yes, if you do get the chance to hear it, do. Especially if you're, you know, if you like the goodies. One of the things I noticed as well, because the goodies is a very visual feast, generally. So some sort of trepidation uh, about um, about seeing it being done on the radio. We did that already. Um, is it, you know, you get visual jokes in the goodies. that are very strong, the visual jokes. So, you know, would there... Oh, would, that, would, would you miss them? Would you miss them, basically, if it was all done on the wireless? Would we be left with, with wordplay alone? But no, actually, there are... It's actually surprisingly visual uh, humour. Partly, I think, because the... Because uh, the show had such a rich visual grammar to begin with. So when certain things happen... I can't give details, but when certain things happen, you, you did get a, a clear idea of... Uh, of what was going on. Oop, no, just remembered. If you turn away, it stops. Ooh. I think I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get some... Mm's heated up. BBS. Okay. That didn't come up on me, what's it? But, uh... Enjoy. Uh, so I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess what it might be. Uh, get some some things heated up. Um, wax strips. I'm going to go with wax strips. I think. Uh, Bell Gringo. Unusual for a penguin. That's rather has suit sold shoulders. And uh, so he's just popped some wax strips into the microwave, uh, which he will then be uh, asking his good lady Gringo to. Uh, fix to his shoulders and tear off very quickly in an act of domestic epilation firing these out. I enjoyed the goodies when I was a pre-team, I think. Sounds like it still works. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. The chap, the chap that was filling in for Graham Garden was very good. He was the, uh, I think, one of the producers of the show that had uh, played Graham Garden in a, in a previous thing. You know, he, he could he could get the, the garden tone just right. You know, ah, what a, I keep thinking it's Sunday as well because I've got me uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm not at work this week. So, uh, oh, fidget. So I have to remind myself that it's actually Tuesday. Oh. So yes, um, I got uh, basically I got Amazon bucks for me uh, for me birthday. So I've splashed out on some pedals, which I'm using at the moment. Uh, it's quite quite a tricky thing to get your head round, really, with them. I've set them up uh, so that both the uh, foot depresses uh, and the slide affect the throttle. So I find them quite useful in different contexts to have different ways of adjusting it. Try feet rather than head. Yeah, that would, that would, that would work, wouldn't it? That would be up. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of what's new, which pedals are they? Um, uh, lacking imagination, M. Curtains. So I got the same ones that uh, Colo uses. I could have, I could have, I suppose. Well, I could have, I could have got more expensive ones. But uh, yeah, no, no command. I'm afraid. Um, I could have got more expensive ones. But it's that sort of thing where I think, well, I'm just buying these for, you know, for their throttle action, or to use them as throttle as a throttle. Because it's hard doing. I only play with this hand, you see, so uh, it's a little bit tricky to manipulate me throttle and me stick at the same time. So the pedals of you know should theoretically, when I get them down, change me game. I suppose we'll put that to the test on Tuesday and get into some some hot combat. See how my uh, frame drop. Oh, good. Percentage is lowering. I'm used to me frame drop percentage going up on these 1080 screens rather than down. So that's that's welcome. Ooh, double, double tapped. Double tapped. Silly. Oh, let's have a scanner race. Always good. Uh, that was unrewarding. Ah. And the other thing I've got, which I've not set up yet, is um, is a uh, a Yeti microphone. So that's um, that's tomorrow's task. We'll be getting to grips with that. I'll be like a proper streamer soon. Yeah. Because, you know, this is pretty much basically, more or less, uh, uh, the stream's second birthday. So, uh, you know, it's got it's to it's gotta have presents, hasn't it? Really, I know it's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, no, I, I started. Um, I think early April, so it's coming up. I should have written it down at the time. It's foolish of me not to. But that's where we're at. It's certainly been two Christmas specials. Definitely. Definitely been two of those. But just, oh, hang on, just the one Halloween. Oh, no, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I forgot how time worked there momentarily. 
No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, 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 we did do a, we didn't do a Halloween special. I remember now, first Halloween. Yeah, we didn't do a special. We just uh, played a spooky game. Yeah, which is a good idea. Don't know if you've ever thought about that. Playing a spooky game. That's a good tip there. If you're doing a stream on Halloween and you want to make it Halloween themed, try playing a spooky game. Yeah, yeah. Write that down. It was that game, uh, I think, uh, Orange Spark, who was late, uh, I think he uh, suggested it. Set in that uh, website with the, where all the spooky. There's that website, there's a fake Wikipedia of spooky things. It's like a sort of a, a collection of. It's some sort of uh, department, government department, where they keep all the all the spooky objects and things. It's a, quite a quite a fun website. If only I could remember what it was called. Uh, that's the mysterious thing about it, you see. Those who those who learn of its existence forget its name. Hmm. Or I'm just you know, I've just forgotten it. It's one of the two. One of the two. Welcome back, pale gringo. How are your shoulders? Are they uh, kissably smooth? Heard some such about penguins and not being standard. Yes, um, hairy shoulders. Hairy shoulders we're talking about, Pell. I think. We're talking about your, your wa the waxing strips you were heating up uh, in, the, in your microwave. Oh! Yes, well spotted. Now, I will bore you with this. Because it's important. <laughs> Oh, we've got rock on. I hope that's okay. Oh. Oh, yes, the Nucrowave. Today's definitely not a PG rated day over here, is it not? Ooh, blimey. I, I assume they were for your shoulders. This is weird. It's like chip rock. Yeah. Uh, no, we had to, uh, when we were testing the buttons out, I had to, uh, change it to, change it to the rock channel. Because, uh, the usual ones, there's sort of, often have quiet starts and finishes, and you're not quite sure if anything's actually happened. More of that later. Oh, well, there we go. Now, oh, this is a bit of a test. Uh, 255 light years, what a jump. I love my DBX. Supercharge! Hmm, there's a thought. Oh, yes! Now, while we're on the subject of uh, subscriber uh, benefits. Now, a lot of, a lot of, I've, I've been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my babe. No, that wasn't, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I, I got confused. Um, well, Gringo, I'm up to 95 jumps on route to uh, waypoint 8. Barely up to the icy crown. Yes, we're we're going straight there today. Um, just to be sure. Sorry about your dry chicken, by the way. Much prefer my poultry moist. Not too moist, though. You know, steamy. Let's say that. Um, yeah. So I've I've been around uh, looking at other channels. 
And uh, one of the things that some of them do for subscribers is they have a special sort of uh, sound for people to play. Ooh. Slightly less, slightly less skillful that time. You appear to have found lots of stars, though. Have you noticed that? So, uh, yeah. So, for instance, uh, if you're familiar with the streamer Be Creative Let Lou, uh, you will know that uh, whenever I turn up on that stream in chat, uh, I get to play the, uh, the bingo uh, jingle from the Pet Shop Boys road movie. Uh, it couldn't happen here. Y you know the one. Um, uh, token bingo, something, something. Token bingo, oh, 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 no. The more you win, the bigger the prize, the falling down before your eyes. Uh, uh, you get the idea. Anyway, and I thought, well, um, uh, that's nice and all. And it is, I love it, it's one of my favourite things. Um, but, uh, uh, I wanted something slightly different. Me being me, I wanted something slightly different for for the little massive. So what I thought was that we could uh, su subscribers can write themselves a little sort of uh, like ten or twelve word sentence, announcing themselves like a like like they were a wrestler or something. Where's the, where's the, where's the thing? Hang on. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that was confusing. Oh, yeah. So that was it. So, um, uh, so the subscriber would write, let's write it. Or I would, I would suggest. The thing is in the sky. No, no. <clears throat> um, yes, and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd sort of, I'd get the gimp to do a sort of a wrestlingy, boxingy kind of announcement. You know, so it'd be like um, uh, he's made of wood and his head's a tree. It's open. You know, whoever. Um, taking the fun out of charity raffles since 1976, it's just our day. See, that sort of thing, that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, blimey. Steady on. How am I doing for fuel, by the way? Oh, this is a worry. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I've come over all Planet of the Apes. No, not Planet of the Apes. The other one. Battle of the Planets. I've come over all Battle of the Planets. Yeah. Right, well, I think, I hope, hang on, uh, hang on, oh, it's a fuel, yeah, that was lucky. So yes, I'll, I'll open up a channel on Discord or something uh, for the discussion thereof, of your uh, vocal announcements. And then uh, in practice, what we'll do is we'll, we'll set them up as commands, but on like a 24 hour cooldown or whatever. So, you know. Oh, that's 
but uh see what I'm, what I'm trying to do as well with the pedals because I'm, I'm ma mainly using the uh, what I call the slide you slide the sort of the p pedals are on a cantilever so you kind of pull one foot forward and the other one your other foot moves backwards so I've been uh, I've been trying to get trying to feel the notes as it were on the trombone of that particular uh, slider I'm also trying not to actually uh, use the throttle on the stick because it doesn't do anything now oh. it's a lot to take on I'm only little. Yeah. But one of the things that we've we've lost in the rebrand is uh, it's still there as a sound. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the Barry style. Uh, stinger. It's all coded up still, it's just not plugged into anything. Sheen below! Welcome! Welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? We are leaping for all we are worth. I think we'll make it in good time. So yes, this is this is uh this is all this is all it. This is the this is the rebrand. It's uh took a bit of took a bit of work, took a bit of work. I'm very well old chap, just made triple elite the other day, don't you know? Well done, Gene. Well done, triple elite. I've um I've not got uh I'm not I'm I've not got one elite yet. Don't know why that should be. I mean, I, I play six hours a week. Who can say? So, what was what was the last uh, what was the last domino to fall, Jean Below? Was it uh, combat? Decal is sweet. Oh, I dream of such decals. I dream of them. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's better. Ah. Uh. Oh, tell you what, edging me. No, nope, that's too far. I've come too far forward now. Oh, we'll get this. We'll get this fixed. We'll work out where we are. Trade elite. I uh, went exploration, combat, trade. Ah, yes. Exploration for the for the for the crazy bucks. Spend on a spend on a battleship to get the combat, and then uh, ship out your. Yeah. Guns, put in some cargo, but bop, 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 bops. There you are. Titopia just needs combat. Well, you know, every Tuesday. Haha, <laughs> chipping away at it. Whoa. I suppose I should leap, really, shouldn't I? Rather than just, you know, it's going to take me 63, well, no, not 63 years, but more than a year, more than a year. Jim Below, I did 75% of Tycoon to Elite by Deep Core Mining, highly recommended. Uh -huh. For combat, I recommend Thargoid Scouts. Oh yes, they just keep coming, don't they? Pretty much. There is a joke here, but I'm not allowed to tell it. You'll just have to make it up yourself, I'm afraid. Oh. No, it's terrible. Just sit up, sit up. There we are. I think that's better. Probably feel like I'm back where I was. But, uh, not to worry. Nope, 
This isn't Scoopy Scoopy. Scoopy Scoopy is the technical term, obviously, for a Scoopable Star. Eos Chrysria, JDH. Hope the music's okay, by the way. It's not our usual fare, by any means. Oh, it's a neutron. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Yes, deep core mining is definitely the way to do it. I've, uh, I've not done any uh, deep core mining yet. Tried in beta. Couldn't get the rocks. Couldn't get the rocks. Uh, couldn't get the rocks. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do here. to the side a little. She uses hardly any fuel at all. Trailing it quickly. Never thought of that. What ship build you recommend for Thargoid Scouts? Ooh, we, have a, we have a bit in our Discord for ship builds. How some people can go at it is beyond me. See, I did see what you did there, Pale. No Man's Sky, of course, has uh, recently announced its forthcoming Xiao uh, uh, day. Entitled uh, No Man's Sky Beyond. Of course, uh, our previous uh, incarnation as a little dangerous benign was a, a pun on Elite Dangerous uh, Elite Dangerous Beyond. She but I filled up an anaconda with gimbaled axe multi cannons for combat rank. Felt a bit like picking easy mode. <laughs> Grinders Paradise, eh? <laughs> Indeed it is. I like there are more options in mining to be sure. Oh yes, let's do this. Why not? But, uh, by the way, that's slightly, slightly, slightly worrying. Uh, Yeah, slightly worrying route. For reasons I won't, I won't dwell on. Are we now? I made a school by error. Subsurface replacement, nobody. Ooh. Blimey, we're all getting technical in chat, which is welcome. Ooh, Ponicus, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, new layout, new title, new everything, more or less. You uh, did his Dytopia. I like that there are more options in mining, to be sure. The lack of balance means nobody is using abrasion blasters otherwise. And who does subsurface displacement? Nobody. Oh, so the whole sort of sections of the mining that's not really, uh, not really used. Like if I have sound off at work and read completely confusing closed captioning, it's useful, isn't it? Um, I might be, I might be sorting out the uh, the other captioning thing, which seems to be much 
Much better. Where have I left that star? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. There's no need to be shy, you know. We're all friends here. I was transcribing the CC the other day, Ponic, because the chat was confused. I was confused, yes. I was reading it out as well, which then the CC was having to re... re what's it. Captions are hilariously bad. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, they... There we go. Oh, people just go for the money, I guess. Yeah, off the way, off the way. Jean Bellow, I did subsurface mining for about 10 minutes and then moved on to deep core. It's nicely done, but the meta. Yeah. Meta comes a calling. It's turning things Jack said like he ran, he ran into Duran, Duran. Yeah. Not that that's a problem, although perhaps he ran would be more. more more appropriate for uh, Depeche Mode. Ha! Uh, French joke there. I think. Maybe. Depeche Mode, rather. Which I think roughly translates to fast, fast moving fashion. Or hurrying fashion. Or fishing fashion. Fist fashion. Twenty five left. Forty eight past. Oh, CC makes for an interesting poem. Uh, I'm well up for that. Went up for a bit of uh, bit of machine uh, composing. Shades of the Ulipo, wouldn't you say, Jean Below? Should I get uh, Raymond Cunot around here with his cent uh, mille poems? Yeah. Hang on, how many? Well, it's fourteen zeros, wasn't it? He wrote a fourteen-line poem. Where? Each line was interchangeable with another, another nine lines. So that's ten to the power of fourteen, isn't it? It's quite a lot of poems. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of time for the Ulipo. Bell Gringo, a machine learning algorithm walks into a bar. Bartender asks, "What'll it be?" The MLA responds, I'll have what everybody else is having. Ha <laughs> ha. I do like that, yes. Then curtains, you should link the output of the caption to be automatically tweeted. Badged as an avant-garde artist. Or if um, I'll I'll get uh, I'll get the IT chaps to code that up for us. That'll be fab. It's a corpus of 10,000 visits to the bar before it answers. <laughs> ah, hang on. Machine learning algorithm walks into a bar. Bartender asks, what will it be? I feel like there's about 101 answers to that joke. I'm not, I'm not clever enough right now. Of course, the trouble is, when an MLA has had a few drinks, you find out, you find out that they're racist. This is true. Is 
She below. Like, wow, the new branding is kind of loud. When I glance across the screen, in a good way. I hope in a good way. It is a bit loud, especially that red. I might, I might turn the red down a bit. I hope it's uh, not doing your eyes uh, any mischief, machine below. It's 1976 Harlem Globetrotter style, is it? Marvelous. It's somewhat patriotic, perhaps, perhaps, but uh, so many, so many, uh, so many flags have red, white, and blue on them. You know, England. Oh, that's just red and white, isn't it? There's uh, people who put England, who write England across. England flags. You could go out and buy an England flag, and it's the England flag, but it's got the word England written across it. Never quite understood that. I don't think other countries do that, do they? They get, you know. I mean, it's the flag. That's the. I think you're 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 flying an England flag in England. It's, uh, uh, makes me want to start whistling, Ponicus. France, Netherlands, uh, all the greats. Isn't England a red cross on a white field? It is indeed, yeah, no, no blue. Union Jack, that's got blue. Obvs, that's a, that's a, um, Ah, it's all good. Aesthetic is growing on me. The black text on blue is making my accessibility spidey sense go nuts, though. Oh, is it? I have to think about that. Because we care about accessibility, but we're also, uh, you know, sometimes a little, uh, a little ignorant. Notes in Discord, by the way, on on all of that, if you've got them. I mean, you know, share them in here in chat as well, but, uh... Oh, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get into me pedals now. Partly reminded me, although the colours are too strident, slightly reminded me of, uh, national insurance cards. It's all Jeremy Thorpe's fault. Warning. Drive operating safety limits. Yeah, yeah, but not, you know. Where have you gone? I mean, we're in the cone, but I just can't see the cone. Ah. Uh, oh. Hello. There's no point trying to get away, you know. I'll track you down. White outline to black text would be fabulously darling. Ah. Okay. That's easily done, I think. That's literally like a setting or something. In fact, yes. When we look at the... Uh, I, I, this is something I don't go on about in chat very much. But, uh, you know, we, we always have that little thanks for coming text at the end floating over a, a boiling sun. There's always a little bit of extra text at the bottom, uh, which theoretically, I haven't, I, I forgot to change it this week because of everything else. So it's going to say what it said last time, but uh, yeah. I think I've got outline on that, but it's not why. Flavor text, absolutely pale gringo. Yeah. It's just sort of my favourite ones are the ones that are very specific, but slightly oblique references. But what's that about? What's that about? Then I like that, you know, because it's not, you know, it's not, it's not major content. It's just this little little note at the end. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. You what, mate? You what, mate? Yeah. I don't think uh, you what, mate? Is something we need to be too afraid of, is it? In the grand scheme of things.
Oh, this music. It's very uh it's invigorating, isn't it? Do what John, do what John. Come again. Do what? You are Dosh got in your mouth. Oh. Is it John? You are John got in your mouth. Oh. You are John got in your mouth. Oh. Yeah. So I've decided so far that I need a headband. Oh, no, yeah, that was what I was going to say. I shouldn't really. Uh, I had to go up in the loft. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And uh, I, found a, I found a hat in there, which I can only assume belongs to the landlord. Uh, it's a red hat. And it's made in China. That's all I'm, all I'm prepared to say about it. Well, I was quite shocked to see it there. I'm sure it was bought as a joke, you know. I just don't think that the uh, person for whom the hat was uh, sold will be will be spending the money. Ironically. <clears throat> Very same M curtains, the very same. Yeah. Still, let's said soon is mended. In the words of uh, Neville Chamberlain. Oh. Ooh, I think. How are we looking? That saves me a honk. Marvellous. Almost worthy of uh, points for Griffin done. Okay. Now what do we? That's another neutron star. Okay, we'll we'll refuel. We'll refuel at next one. Let's see with the M. The MLA going into a bar, I kind of felt like I wanted to do some sort of Markov chain response, but I couldn't think of one. They're quite difficult to make up, aren't they? All right, let's point away from that first. Oh, yeah, we'll do that as well. Galaxy. I can't be right. Ooh, there we go. Get some luck on the uh, luck on the scooper balls. Seventeen stars left. Fill me tanks. We've got a little time. Mm. Looks like a lot of neutrons on the way there, doesn't it?
Um, yeah, we've got uh, something else we've made up. Oh, it's this. Here we go. Now, tradition dictates that I leave this on for about half an hour. But, uh, probably only give it a minute or so. Now, we were a bit undecided about the, uh, the moving back in a bit. A bit. Ponicus gives it the thumbs up. Jimbelo finds it hilarious. Thanks, G. proper sort of waiting uh, defense burning obviously yeah that's what it's there for yeah if anyone's watching this on a cathode ray tube I'm sure they'll be thanking me also lots of people nicking the video and removing the logo yeah it's a digital overlay graphic or dog no leaving off 30 minutes is the LOL, you wag. <laughs> I knew that really, Gene. I knew that really. Oh, um, speaking of obscure objects, we'll use that as a... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll use that as a reason to come back. Oh, there you go. Pretzel back on. Pretzel, you can have a hotkey that stops and starts pretzel, but it's a toggle. I've requested uh, the granularity of a separate play and pause uh, hotkey, which they're going to they're gonna look into. Swipe, loving that too. Oh yes, yeah, the swipe. Forgot about the swipe. Uh, I needed it because uh, there are some screens here that are too familiar, too similar, basically, to uh, to go between. So I needed just a little bit of disruption. First one I did was far too quick. It actually kind of still looked like it was just a hard cut. Hard cut with a flurry. That'll be 99p, please. I think that was a joke about ice cream, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, oh, yes, obscure joke. Uh, David Tibet. Uh, yeah, I've got an obscure joke about David Tibet and a joke that I keep meaning to do about Jesus. Um, it's not a bad joke about Jesus. You know, I mean, I'm an atheist, you know, don't get me wrong. But uh, I feel like it's... I feel like the humour's okay on it. Sh shouldn't really apologise for the joke before I've said it, though, should I? But, uh, no, here he is. Um, David Tibet thinks that when somebody ends an email or text message with LOL, they're signing off Lucifer over London. Yeah, that's me. That's me, obscure joke. Uh, if you know David Tibet, you'd be laughing. Oh, well, you'd be, you know, at least understanding. Right, we'll do the Jesus joke after I've... Uh, M. Kurtz, who's forever London? Yes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. It's a track by uh, David Tibet's band, Current 93, you see. That's how that joke works. Oh. So yeah, right, it's the Last Supper. Right, let's do the Jesus joke as well, because I like this one. Ah, it's never good when you have to apologise for a joke before you tell it. It's not, not great, is it? It's not crazy. Crazy neutrons, that was a bit, a bit nuts. Um, yeah, so it's the Last Supper. And everyone's... Uh, Everyone sat around the table, not all on one side, you know, like Da Vinci has it. Who, who does that? Who does that? Who books a table for, you know, 13 people? And lots, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, yeah, there's going to be 13 of us. And uh, I feel like this is someone's material. I should stop. Anyway, um, yeah, so Jesus says, basically, that this is the last meal together for the following day. Jesus says, one of you, one of you who breaks bread with me will uh, painters do painters do don't they one of you 
will betray me. And Peter says, oh, Jesus, is, is it me? Do I, do I betray you? And uh, Jesus says, no, no, you don't betray me. And Paul, Paul says, Jesus, am I, am I the traitor? Do I, do I betray you? And Jesus says, no, my son, you don't, you don't betray me. And then, uh, and then Judas says, is it, is it me, Jesus, do, uh, Jesus, do I, do I betray you? And Jesus goes, oh, is it me, is it me, is it me? That's, that's the end of the joke. Oh. Whoa, there we go. Back into the maelstrom. Ooh, no. Can't do that. All that. No. There we go. Oh. Ah, Jesus joke is carried. That's good. I either get laughter or blank stares at that one. Which I think says more about them than uh, <laughs> the joke. Officially, again, the furthest far, we've f furthest out we've ever taken the colonial spree, or colonic spree, as I like to change the name to when uh, the game's not looking. <laughs> uh, I really do think it's just going to be this until we. Uh... Well, that's nice. The info panel actually tells me to supercharge me FSD. How useful. So just, uh, just nudge me away into the funnel. Just get the tip of me scoop in. There we go. Ready to make that leap. That's another neutron star. They're looking a bit spread out as well, aren't they? Oh, I hope we're all right. Jokes. I'm quite interested in jokes that only kind of you can only only kind of exist in one way, really. That's what I feel like with that with that joke about Jesus. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, uh, you've got to you've got to uh, you've got to really perform it, you know. I think if you see it written down, it just lacks lacks a certain oomph. One of my favourite jokes. Uh, I can't even say out loud. It's um, it's it's not laugh out loud funny. I will admit that. Got to practice your material. Yeah. Yeah. 
That'll do us. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, when I'm refueling it, I'll see if I can type it into chat. That's something to look forward to, isn't it? It's, uh... I keep needing to, like, put it on a t-shirt or something. I posted it once on the Frontier forum. And, uh, because I think they were asking for jokes. Paige looked at it and went, Okay, I get that, but I can't, I can't, I can't read it. I can't read it out. Ooh, this is a hottie. You stay at 60 for me, like a good little, oop, steady. Yeah, 62, 62 will do. Right, let's let's have a look now. Yeah, I'll do it there. Right, here we go, here we go. This is the joke. I nearly put it in quotation marks then, which would have added to the confusion. Say, this is Dahlia. Yeah. Oh, hope oh, that. Uh. Now I get a feeling. Most of these jumps are going to be neutron. Also, let's have a look there. Oh, 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 that's slightly terrifying. Oh, for me, you know. So that's the that's the joke in its entirety. It uh, revolves around the uh, the lack of the. Uh, the lack of the required angle in the V to actually make it a, a legitimate V. Instead, it's just a straight line. Oop. That's not how that works. So, rather than it saying, heaven must be missing an angel, it's saying, heaven, the word, uh, as it is with its misformed V, must be missing an angle. Uh, See, if it's not funny, it's definitely clever. And curtains here, silence, yeah. You haven't got a, you haven't got a tumbleweed uh, sound effect, have you? That'd be a good one. Jean Blow enjoys a joke that comes with its own lecture series. Yeah. I do I do find explained jokes amusing, I must admit. I also like jokes that you can tell just by telling the punchline, you know. That famous one in uh, the motion picture Alien Nation. Um, the doctor says, if this is my thermometer, then where is my pen? Yeah. I think the uh, one of my favourite rude jokes has the punchline, I'm not Willie Nelson. I can't possibly read that out though. But it needed explaining. <laughs> yeah. Page understood. give somebody a second run at 
understanding a joke on Sunday. We could try that one as well, actually. It's like Jeopardy, but with punchlines. Absolutely, yeah. There we go. Oh. We might have a strategy now for when that happens. I'll try that again. What was the joke? Oh, yes. Little boy goes up to his uh, dad and he says, Dad, when I grow up, I want to be a magician. And the dad says, you can't, you can't do both, son. Which is perhaps a joke for magicians. But yes, he had he had to have a second, had to, had to basically reread the the the, the, the feed line, had to re, re, restate the feed line. But I've had worse. I've had worse. But few. Welcome, by the way, Duplex. I don't think I've said hello to you yet. Hello, Duplex. How are you? We're having a scary journey tonight. Imagine Twitch sings, but with stand-up comedy. You don't have to. There's a there's a VR um, a VR game. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but that's basically. That was the idea of it, but it's horrible because it's uh, it's a he it's a uh, heckler and troller paradise. You, I don't think I've se ever seen any stand-up comedy there on it at all. What I want, what I really, really want. No, not at Ziggy Zigar, but um, don't have your internet before you. I know. Just don't do things in the right order, do they? Except uh, Tetris 99, of course. Ha! 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 gone, Ha! gone. Oh, yeah, no, that was it. No, it was... Um, Beat Saber, but karaoke at the same time. Yeah. Oh no, hang on. I think I think we do another top up, aren't we? Get, getting a bit angst angsty. Doing quite well on the uh, nearest star being a fuel star. I was thinking about how pleasing the layout is of uh, Tetris 99. I don't, I don't own uh, a Twitch, so I've just, I've just seen other people playing it. But that, because it's sort of like, well, why is it 99? You know, you almost feel like, oh, they could have, they could have, uh, they could have tried just a little bit harder and come up with a uh, hundred opponents instead of. Sorry, 100 players instead of 99. But then you see the screen and it's like, oh, I see. Yeah. It's because you've, you've always got to have that bucket, haven't you? You've always got to have the main player bucket in the middle of the screen. So, uh, what to do? You want, you want uh, the same number of buckets on either side of the player bucket. So you can have seven times seven on one side, seven times seven on the other, one in the middle. This makes perfect sense.
So that was nice. Design choices. I predict two team Tetris 99. But I can't see how they'd arrange the two teams symmetrically. Oh yeah, that's a trouble, isn't it? Not thought about it, but seven times seven times two plus one equals ninety-nine makes a lot of sense. Certainly from a design perspective, yes. Tetris 99 really needs is the ability to hide in a bush until there are only 20 people left. Then you know it's Battle Royale proper. That's the thing I'd like to watch as well is the, uh, it's, it's probably online isn't it? The, uh, two chaps who are playing uh, in two team Two team player unknown battlegrounds and uh, got the chicken dinner without killing anyone. Which they've been trying to for some time, I think. But they, uh, yeah. I think they were very lucky with the first circle. Managed to keep out of sight. Oh, what, what, what? Are we being raided? So I've not been getting my raid notifications in chat for some reason. Hurrah! Oh, hello. Oh, is he off? How long, how long an uh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Hold it right there, Susaku. We need to sort this out. Right. Right, OBS. What are you up to? What's the meaning of this? Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, right, okay. It's not you at all, I take that back, OBS. It's web sockets. Right. Where are you? There you are. Yep. Okay. Edit you. Change that to that. Okay, sensitive. Okay. Here we go. Right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're ready now. We're ready. Let's just get back into me harness. Oh, uh, hey, um, Jack. Um, yeah. We've got some visitors coming in, and I don't think you've got enough chairs. So, I've, what I've done yeah. is I've brought some chairs in too. So, you know, you can have a lend of the chairs for all of these new uh, people who, who are coming in, you know. Chairs. That's very kind of you, Paul. Thank you. And welcome, 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 Raiders. Welcome, Susako. Ah, Susako writes. Ooh. So it's about Pikuniki, Miku. Oh, I've, yes, I think I've played that off stream. Oh, it's lovely. All hail the queue. It is Sir Paul. It's a boring Paul who lives next door. Yes. Ah, uh, is that what you've been streaming tonight, Susako? It is because that's what chat just told me. Oh, I can do this professionally, you know. Ah, uh, how far have you got? Have you finished it? Because it's, um, I think, I've, I've reached a stage where I'm thinking, oh, am I, near, am I nearly at the end? And, and I sort of don't want it to be nearly nearly the end. Because it's such silly, uh, cute fun. I don't get enough silly, cute fun in my life. Right now, let's see if we can put that theory to the test. Oh, well, no, but it sort of helps. Hurrah. 
Hurrah. Yes, we are. Ordinarily, as you know, we do uh, LMPD on. Uh, this stream is all the silly, cute fun I need. Oh, thank you, MC. Um. Ooh, I, I was thrown there. Hang on. Yes, no, ordinarily we do a uh, little massive police department on Tuesdays, but I uh, had to skip Sunday's stream uh, for celebrations. And uh, so, yeah, so we're doing Distant Worlds 2 tonight instead of on that Sunday. And LMPD, for anyone who wants to join in, hint, hint, Susako, hint, hint, on Thursday. Me, me WebSocket code was pulling up me raid response in the wrong scene. Uh, oh, I feel like I've just been swimming through this stuff for a week now. <laughs> uh, but TV troubles, you know. Time zones are hard. Uh, yeah, that's understandable, you know. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to be recording a bunch of... Uh, open duets and twitch sings this week. Not got near that. I tuned into Pale Gringo. Can we get a shout out for Pale Gringo by the way? I don't think we gave him one. But uh, he... Uh, last time I saw him he was he was building a, uh, a fisherman's cottage with his uh, good lady uh, Gringo. Lovely, sort of characterful build it was. Yeah, so this is a bit obvious now I come to think of it, but uh, yeah, you just follow the... You just uh, observe your shadows. Yeah, that takes you back to the cone. Oh. Because the shadows are being thrown by the thing you're trying to find. Told you it was obvious. I wonder, is there a Dark Mexican streaming too? Oh, could we get a shout out for Dark Mexican? Is that somebody we should be shouting out? Ready for that? Orange Spark. Welcome to the stream. Orange Spark throws themselves on the mercy of chat with regards any likely punishment for their lateness. Well, we'll think about that later. M. Curtains writes, done much cottaging, Pale Gringo. Wait, I think it's just the one. Did I guess? Pale, where did you say you uh, where did you say you had to order that uh, that Lego from? Sorry, I forgot it was Tuesday. It's easily done. I try not to cottage any more than I have to. Turkey, that was it. Turkey, yeah. Because I think it's um they ceased making it, so you sort of people are just sort of mopping up the ones that are out there in the wild now. Ooh, Susaka Bunny goes next door and presses their ear to a glass that they hold against the wall. Uh -huh. So the set, which was normally $180 retail, was actually $260 plus after international shipping. Ouch. That hurts. I'm slightly astonished that it's that much to begin with, really. So, you know, it's your proper sort of modelling end, isn't it? Oh, come on. Let's be open yet. By the way, if you have any uh, suggestions for uh, content for the late or lurk, uh, commands that we've just seen so ably used by uh, Mr. Spark and Ms. Kobani. Um, 
to pop them in Discord. I think we've got a we have we have got a channel just for that. Pale Gringo coming up with the actual uh, kit number. Lovely. So the set. Don't understand why either, unless it was just too complicated or not economic. Has been sold out over here in the US since October 2018 and is now retired. Very sad. Ooh, hello. Not sure I did you. Wasn't sure if a link would be acceptable. Uh, that would be fine, Bill. Yes, if you want, if you want to, if you have it to hand. It's a gorgeous set. I'm really glad we got one. That was not cheap. I think I need a special room. I like the. Um, it's a bit. It's almost a sort of cliche, really, to say this, but uh, I really like the. Um, Lego Lego person scale Millennium Falcon, just for its you know its ambition. So two one three zero nine is still in production. It did sell out initially and is still widely available. It was released before twenty one three ten. It's a confusing world. Legos. Oh, Lego. Oh. I hang my head in shame. Let's see. One to one model. No, no. Sadly not. If it was, I'd buy one and live in it. Alright, <laughs> Spark, not seeing a lot of hanging. I'm glad. Did outlaw that years ago. You know, too many mistakes in the justice system. For one, that's you know, without even bringing the moral argument into things. Whoa. Yeah, I wonder if they. Uh, you meant the stream. Sorry. Ah, oh, thank you, Sparky. Yeah, I wonder if they make the wall for knowing how many people will want to. I think it's um. It's quite a peculiar beast, that particular kit. So, um, I'd imagine them having trouble establishing how many people would want to buy it. Yeah, because it's, um, it's, it's a very characterful little build. You think of Lego, well, I think of Lego, anyway, as being quite sort of, uh, uh, I think I put it as mathsy the other night. So you get a, a, a build, it's sort of, tends to be a straight line affair, and a lot of the more high-end kits are all about, I guess, about breaking that, breaking those straight lines. And, uh, yeah, the amount of work that's gone into line-breaking, should we say, on the, on the, on 21309 is, uh, yeah, quite remarkable. Ooh, four jumps away. Won't fit in with my creator street scale wise. Oh dear. Trouble with scale, isn't it? Things are either too small, too big, or you know, whatever. Just slightly out of whack. Slightly out of whack's worse in a way. Hell can go. Minor stream mention. Psyche is hoping to continue her build of 21309 this coming weekend. Can we get a shout out for Psyche? Friend of the stream, I cured her hiccups once. And I, I won't I won't shut up about it. Oh. 
that's a faux pas, feel free to perch. No, not, not, not at all here. No, no. Certainly not for Psyche, anyway. 21310 is minifigure scale. No curtains. Certainly worth getting. Shipping. Scarcity may be better where you're at. This is true. So, um... Yes, I've got a, I've got a Yeti, but I've not plugged it in yet. It's an electric Yeti. Yes. Which I bought with my birthday money. Not plugged it in Yeti. Hey, very good, Bill. Very good. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. It's apropos. It wasn't the blue one, it was the blackout I got. Because, you know, I didn't get that much birthday money. Oh. Pale Gringo may have a refill on my Capri Sun. You certainly may. Let's get that, let's get that actioned. There we go. Oh, see when I do, I get an emoji come up as well. I used to, I used to make believe when I was a child that uh, Capri Sun was astronaut food. I blame Stanley Kubrick for that and several other things. I love of staying in hotels. That's uh, something else. Tasty. Space pouchy. Absolutely. Okay. Two... I, don't, I think we've got more than two jumps left. As yet, that's another neutron. Staying in hotels is the best, isn't it? I love the uh, strange sort of uh, frisson. 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 Oop. Do you mind? The frisson between space that is yours and is at the same time not yours a sort of liminality of uh, ownership duplex but it's mainly sugar so yeah astronaut food now now duplex stop breaking pale gringo's immersion oh if sun does have the chemically taste i imagine astronaut food has Everything's chemicals. Ergo, everything tastes of chemicals. That's just logic. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Yep. Let's um, see how much trouble we're in. Oh, ho, ho. oh, why am I doing that? Well, certainly. Uh... Oh, oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. Right, hang on. They want to power down some systems, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sparky. PG stream. <clears throat> now what I want to do is do that. Oh dear. This isn't going to work, but I need to rule it out.
Moderate me, please. Oh. Mods can't mod mods, have to have a streamer perch. Oh. Hang on then. Right. I think we need a fuel rat here. Ah, embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Right, hang on. Oh. working or not. Oh, anyway. Stick this on YouTube and this could be the big time, isn't it? Okay, hang on then. Oh. Except in my defense. problem. Right. Now you're buying time. Switch off the fuel scoop, whoever needs that anyway. Indeed. At least you're out of the danger cone. So, right, I've got to remember how to do this. Last time, Millstone Barn happened to be in and local, which was nice. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Fuelrats.com. Get help. Yes, I need fuel. Mind a name? Ooh. Oh, try that again. System name. Are you on emergency O2? No. Platform. There you go. Start. Oh. Oh, hello. I'm into chat window now. People are coming in. Type rat signal. Oh no, I've done that already. 
Oh, hello, chat. Oh, you see a blue oxygen depleted time. Conversation at critically right low levels. Uh, Anti-lull procedures oh. are in force. Oh, why do you MC. think the fairy godmother only let Cinderella have all the magic stuff till midnight instead of forever or at least until the morning so she didn't have to run away at midnight? So, um... I'm currently chatting to uh, Dr. Chides. Please drop from Super Cruise and come to full stop. Disable all modes except life support. Ooh. If an emergency oxygen countdown appears at any time, let us know right away. Okay. Pa including the power distributor. That feels weird. I can't turn that off. All that. Oh, my beautiful colours. Seven thousand light years, not sure how many jumps. Oh they got plenty of time. Oh, Ditopia is in rat chat. response thank you have you checked the eco route yet oh there's nothing there's nothing out here <sighs> oh dog said something 53 jumps out. Blimey. Now let's add a rat to your case. Please add the following rats to your friends list. Yog. Yog's coming. He's not going to be here for a while. Okay. Disappears, but it doesn't give you any sort of. The quest is in. Ah. Oh. Well, I think it's going to be a little while before I. Uh, before I see anyone. Please add another rat. Mr. Knopf. Oh gosh. I just realized something. I 
I'm not Jack Little. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> North. Oh, I got that wrong today. <laughs> this is the excitement we keep coming back for. <laughs> uh, thank you for those uh, bits, MC. Who thought the relaunch would be so eventful? No, oh, it's all one word as well. Oh, I mean, I mean all of a all of a tizzy. That's what it is. You need to log into Open. It's not exciting yet. It gets to ten seconds before SD. Stealing calm required. Oh, still not getting it. It is missed enough, yes. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, save and exit to main menu. Self-destruct. Well, if you think it'll help, duplex. Oh. This is what I'm not online. Right, for case three, it's now command ejected. I feel, I feel, I'm feeling very looked after. I think I've, I think I've been triaged. I've always wanted to be triaged. lives to be feeling blue a little bit uh well that me i seem a little less frosty now run out of fuel. Yeah, I switched everything off before uh, I went to uh, switched everything off that I could switch off. Short DW2 account. I can see how far out I am if I get onto my main. We've got some people on the case, uh, Barnard. Thank you very much. Let's switch life support off. Set to Swirls RWWD12. We've got the system confirmed that the rats are on their way. Save the rest of fuel. I'd like you to log out to the main menu and wait there until the rats arrive. Oh. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, 
Okay, I am going to have a little comfort break now, because we are going to overrun massively, which I need to square with somebody. So I'm going to leave you with the delightful... Hang on. Let's see if this will work. For your listening enjoyment, we now present the Moonlight Melodies of Martin Segundo and the Scintilla Strings. Our... This is the uh, this is the menu. Now I've got a I've got a, a, a peculiar choice here. They have an ETA. Ooh, I, I didn't check. They might do. Oh, hello. We've got another contender. Somebody who's only seven Kylies out. No, hang on. 200 light years out. This might be quicker than I thought. Have they called jumps in Urk? Not yet. Could you please check if there is a second star in your system? That would be embarrassing.
Sam reckons it's an M. So technically, I've not run out of fuel. Fine. Oh. We'll fly over there and. Oh, hang on. I need to switch my gear back on. Now I'm just going to put on my uh, FSD, I think. And my fuel scoop. Yep, <laughs> thank you, Ditopia. What, what, what? Hard points gear, scoop deployed. Oh, yeah, that's because I'm scanned outside of it. The... There we go. Silly thing in reverse. Ah, oh, hang on. Um. Oh, hello. Hang on. Zero out of thirty-six because you left thrusters on. Yep. Well, it, um, thrusters switch on automatically when you come in from the main menu. Oh. Blundering novice, I tell you. I might fill. I might fill my tank all the way up. You updated the rats. Yep, yep. We're we're um, communicating via the chat. Ooh. Okay. So they're going to keep my case open. Um, just to make sure that I. Don't get into trouble. I really need to equate myself with the uh, uh, SOP and start writing. Style of play, I think that is. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna give you a sneaky peek about um, Thursday. Well, not a sneaky peek, really, a massive reveal. But 
You're just going to have to wait now. <laughs> Standard operating procedures. Oh, yeah, that, that too. That works too. Dotopia's not done a lot of rashing lately yet. Assuming that means automatic telling machine. Or, um, at the moment, and nothing else. It's a good learnable moment though, isn't it? Check that there's another star in the system. It's all the ATMs advertised in London, and we have cash points for money in the UK. Uh, how often do the rats arrive to do a rescue only to discover that there's a giant scoopable star right there in the system that the client doesn't know about? Ooh, speak the witch. Please back, switch back into your PG after refuel. Wise. Only wise. Proderus says, more often than you think. <laughs> there you are. You beautiful thing, you. Fill me with your velocity babies. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh. Did you cancel your at call? I no, I'm keeping them abreast, yes. They are watching. Whoa. Yeah, can I do that? Ah, oh, thank you, Doctor Chive. Doctor Chives. Oh. Hurrah! We can make our final leap. There we go. Oh. I think I'm in danger of out, out embarrassing Colo at this stage. Do you ever get bored of people saying you guys are amazing? Uh, all better now. Well, although, in order to make our final leap, we have to go back to the eight star. Oh.
You were at 12 viewers when I joined, now at 16, so hi to the four rats that have joined. Uh, welcome, welcome. By the way, it's it's not much of a thank you, but uh, Capri's son's all round. Thank you. That's basically currency here. Oh, no, there's a thought. Hmm. The rats did save you as they suggested checking for a scoopable star in the system. Indeed, M. Curtains, yes. My gratitude overflows. None of us thought of that. I know. I think I think it's sort of Each time that we kind of ran low, there was always a scoopable nearby in another system. We were never sort of in danger. I think I was lulled into a full sense of security. And then was too quick to uh, leap to the worst possible scenario. Oh. To be fair, Jack, your jump range would be better if your hold wasn't loaded down with Capri Suns as ballast. Well, we've got to keep them. Keep the Temperature down somehow. Nothing's nothing's cooler than a Capri Sun. Oh. I blame all the rock music. Rats prefer Snickers. Oh, I do. I'm not. I'm not uh, impartial to a Snickers myself. Oh yes, has to be duo. Sadly, sadly for my waistline, that is. Ah. Snickers and Capri Suns all round. Absolutely. Only come in pairs. Um, you get like a single one which is much smaller than it used to be, courtesy of shrinkflation. Uh, or you can get a duo, which is like two of the two bars. Neosby, welcome to the stream. Lucky to catch us. We're, we're running late due to some slight, uh, slight error in uh, fuel allowance. And we've had some light, uh, but very important, life-saving help from, uh, from the fuel rats. who uh, it fell upon to point out that there was actually another star in the system that was scoopable. I've sort of had an unofficial uh, fuel rat refuel uh, just when I, when I started streaming. So, and approximately two years ago. Remember the PG group, please. Oh, absolutely, yes. If I, I'll make I'll make this leap and then. Uh, I'm charged now, and then uh, switch the, back to the PG. Although actually, I'm, I'm done after this. I think, but uh, just to show willing, you know. Whoa. Where are we going to be Thursday? I have not decided yet, but. Um, uh, I do have a place in mind. Well, 
Right, I'm going to basically, I'm going to make the jump and then I'm going to drop out into the main menu as soon as I arrive, just in case. I need to do it by 11 a.m. so I get my shit there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look it up. It's, um, in fact, if Sparky, Orange Spark, if you're still around. Uh, there we go. Right. Don't usually do this. Yeah. But tonight we will. Oh, blimey. That was, um, that was a thrilling finish. Um, what now? What am I doing? I'm going to go to that, don't I? Yeah. Well, oh, I'm terribly, terribly over, over running. So, uh, I'm gonna so, thanks first and foremost to the Fuel Rats for, uh, for assisting in my uh, not demise. And um, thanks awfully to M. Curtains and Orin Spark for your uh, moderation. And uh, M curtains as well for those hundred bits. I shall put them to use. And uh, don't hesitate to call again. Oh, well, I, I hope I won't have to. I hope I hope we never meet again. <laughs> yeah, if you catch my drift. Um, and um, uh, thank you all as well for joining me on that uh, rather uh, rather frightful uh, escapade. And um, thank you as well for joining me for the for the relaunch of this blooming stream with all the new graphics and whatnot uh, there's going to be things happening in this window over here but i've not i've not sorted that out yet oh uh, there we um, uh, i'm gonna have to raid someone now we will raid we will raid because i've never had the opportunity to before i think i'm gonna raid the commander why not yeah okay so, ah, with that keyed in, hang on, is it keyed in? With that keyed in, it reminds, reminds me to uh, thank Steve Kirby for making me the man I am today. And, till I see you again, fly safely. I shall see you in the black. Okay, that hasn't happened. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, there we go. 